Hello all, it's been a few weeks, and the reason for that is we really started shifting gears and began working on our next big project. But first off, Hide and Zeek, our first completed game, which is now on Steam. Go check it out if you're interested. Cool little stealth game we made. Uh, it's been out for a few weeks now. And we even had a contest about it. People came up with ideas as to what was going on because we were purposely um, vague with what was going on in the game. Since it's one of those, as I like to call it, worthless games where it's kind of up to the viewer as to what's going on. Minimalist. So we got a, yeah, minimalist game. And uh, we got a couple, we got a few entries. And uh, just uh, shout outs to the winners for those contests. We have Skyscape and Twilus. One was an Instagram winner and one was a Discord server winner. Both were very in depth, I have to say. They both oh, yeah. thought their, uh, yeah. their answers out quite well. And uh, so that was interesting to see what their perspective was. It was more than we expected for sure, but it was good. Really went into, both of them really went into like their own version of a backstory, which was very intriguing to read about. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, we weren't even like saying, oh, you have to provide like a whole story. Like we were expecting like a few sentences, but people went pretty ham over it. But that was still good to see. They took their time on it. Thank you also to anybody else who entered. We had a couple other entries, so... Anybody who participated, we greatly appreciate, like, taking the time to take interest in our contest. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, aside from that, while we were wrapping up Hide and Seek and beginning plans for our next big title, we were working on a website. So now Mystic Mask Media has its own website up and running, and you can check it out. It has uh, things like our latest YouTube video and uh, information about Hide and Seek and also TerraZone. So if you're interested in checking that out, it's up and live, mysticmaskmedia.com. Yeah, you can find out a little bit about each of those projects and the latest news right on the front page. Yep, and very soon we'll have a landing page up for our new game, which if you want to start talking about that now, Rob. Oh yeah, so this is the next big project. Um, Probably some people were wondering, because we started off as a, a pure TerraZone channel. We started off as a TerraZone channel, primarily, like years ago, originally when it was just me. And uh, we decided, oh, well, since TerraZone's a very big project, we should make something else in the meantime, uh, just to release out there. And that's pretty much Hide and Zeke's case. So now that Hide and Zeke is done and it's out there, uh, we went back to TerraZone for those that were... You know, there, we have a few people that have been hanging around for a while, and they're probably one. But where's the terror zone? Don't worry, guys. We're working on it now. And we will be for quite a while. It's going to be a very, very big game. Terror zone, shoot for the stars. It's going to be a Persona-inspired RPG-type game where you play as a character. You get to interact with other characters in the game. Both comic characters and game-exclusive characters as well as you get to play them, form friendships, and basically live kind of like a, uh, uh, similar to like a simulator, a life sort of deal, where you'll go day by day, and you get to do, you get to make choices on what you want to do that day, whether it's play against people or uh, build up your will force, which is a mechanic in the game. Get further detail, of course, but there's just some things to look forward to. Very, very big project, but we look forward to sharing a whole bunch on it as time goes on. And as starters, we actually have an outline for the story itself. It's going to be covering a whole school year. I'm excited. <laughs> there's like certain things like I would just love to say, but I like this is so much. And I'm, I'm really happy to say that there's so much to say that I can't say it. Otherwise, there would be a huge spoiler. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty happy with the story uh, we've come up with, needless to say. Yeah. Um, we've come up with a lot of development stories for a lot of the main cast for this game, so 
So looking forward to see how that comes across to the people playing it. It's a very big, ambitious project, but we are very excited to work on it. Oh yeah, and the best part is, is while we've been working on it, we've been laughing an awful lot, so we hope that you guys also laugh a lot while playing this game. So we've definitely been enjoying ourselves while putting together like the gameplay and the story itself. Oh yeah. <laughs> we also started up a weekly dev vlog, which we've been posting on Twitter. The devlog itself is posted on the website. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you can follow the Twitter to get updates on when that's going up on the website. And the devlog basically, um, I think it was like every Friday we plan to release it. Uh, yes, every Friday we'll be posting it. So. We'll be providing new information on the game weekly via this devlog. So anyone looking for constant updates on this big new project Look no further than the devlogs. You can check them out every Friday. And we'll have one of our characters explain what's going on. And be changing it up a little bit each time. So look forward to that. Um, the next one is going to be uh, about animation. So going to go further into like how the animation process goes into the game. We started talking a little bit about what the game is, essentially. and. Our programmer here talked a little bit about the technical side of things, so that was pretty right. cool. We'll also be introducing our main character in the next one as well. Yep, you'll get a full introduction to the game's protagonist. Or protagonists. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, while we've been working on this, uh, we've also been working on... Uh, the card game itself, of course, because obviously that's very important for <laughs> the video game as well, is making sure that the card game is all ready to go and such. It's what you're going to actually be playing in the game, of course. So, oh yeah, better make sure that's up to go up to snuff too. Yeah, so we've been doing some playtesting here and there via Tabletop Simulator, which we look forward to doing more live streams in the relative near future when we are ready to do so again. One of the biggest things that we did was we took a look at the effects and we pretty much worked backwards this time and after trying it a few more times we find that there's a lot more synergy in the game. That's probably one of the biggest things is there's a lot more synergy with the gameplay now. Made every deck fun, I'd oh, yeah. say. And we uh, took into account how our uh, how our uh, game demos went during that table con and prepared better effects so that games don't drag as on as long as they used to because that was one major problem we found yeah we found that the starter decks they had way too much draw power at first we thought that was a good idea since that's a really basic simple concept to wrap your head around but no we found that um, it only just needs a little bit of draw power especially since there's an inherent draw ability through the willpower so we're like nah the starter decks don't need this much it just kind of dragged the games on as zero was saying and we found that the game just needed more removal cards that's the direction we're going to take for both the starter decks and just the game as in and of itself and uh, as far as making the decks more synergetic uh, we took the effects of the big rank three boss as some of you know, the big Destiny Dragon, or the big Scar of the Veteran Shark. Um, we took their effects and built their decks around the effects this time, so that there's a lot more of a theme going on, there's a lot more, like, a lot more synergy, combo potential. It doesn't feel like everybody's doing like a bunch of random things. So with, with that in mind, the game should be a lot, go a lot more smoothly should be a lot more fun. We still have a lot more testing to do while working on shooting Shoot for the Stars. So for a while now, we're probably going to be multitasking, but know that, know this for all the TerraZone fans watching us, it's primarily TerraZone, like basically entirely for a long while. So if you're looking for news on that, you'll be getting lots of it. And uh, we're also going to be figuring out what would be more appropriate for the starter decks as well. Um, 
we had the one new addition to the game, which were the cards. But uh, there's some other tweaks to be made for those so that it's a little easier to teach people how to play it. Maybe like the less complex effects, something like that for the, uh, the starters. So whenever we're doing, if we ever do our live demos, uh, those decks will be better prepared for that. Yeah, that was honestly like a big learning experience. So yeah, that we learned like stuff to have ready as well as stuff that we learned from people playing the games as well. Which we're also taking into consideration of even like the aesthetics of the cards as well to make sure that everything is clear, readable, makes sense. And also inherently like easy enough to understand as the game itself does have quite a bit of layers of gameplay. So anything to just make it easier for the player is something that we've been working towards. Um, so yeah. yeah, I guess with that in mind, that pretty much wraps up what we've been doing without spoiling too much. Yeah, with it, well, keeping some things under wraps because we can't tell you everything at once. Pieces. But uh, now you have a, a, a decent idea as to what's going on behind the scenes of Mystic Mask Media. Uh, the only other thing we'll say here is that we've um, we've sort of shifted our focus to Twitter recently. We've been doing a lot of updates on Twitter and interacting with the other users that use the platform. Uh, however, for our faithful YouTube watchers, uh, don't worry, we'll still be posting content on YouTube as well. We're probably going to be focusing a lot on our Twitter, our YouTube, and our Discord server. Those are probably our big three right now. So yeah, if you would like, go on and check our Twitter if you would like to see uh, more updates on a regular basis. We'll still be updating YouTube, but it will be less frequently than our Twitter and our uh, other but, uh, our work to stay up to date with compared to Twitter so obviously we have a lot to do to get these games prepared for everyone so uh, we'll be well still trying to keep this updated a little bit uh, definitely something we need to cool down on so that we can focus and make a headway with the actual games yeah because as we mentioned before this is a very big project that's going to require a lot of time and attention so we won't have as much time to prepare like videos but we'll still be keeping you guys up to date via youtube as well so no worries for our youtube watchers if twitter's not your thing you'll also get your updates here but you can also check out our website like i mentioned earlier in the video but yeah we'll try to release we'll try to release uh vlog updates with my team and i here uh, every once in a while, we'll probably do like two a month or monthly or something like that, just to keep everybody up to date. Because we like to keep our audience informed as much as possible. All right. And with that, um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more TerraZone content.